Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Thursday, the 17th of August. Rescue operations continue to find India landslide victims. Situation remains tense after attacks on churches in Pakistan over blasphemy claims. And Chinese nationals arrested in connection with Nepal gold smuggling case. And now for all the details. Rescue operations continued in full swing in Shimla in India's Himachal Pradesh on Thursday, where a tragic landslide due to incessant rainfall washed away a temple, killing at least 19 people. Dozens of rescue personnel have been deployed to sift through debris to find bodies. Authorities have moved at least 30 families to a relief camp amid fears of fresh calamities in the ecologically fragile hill town. Shimla, a popular tourist destination, has witnessed at least three rain-triggered landslides in the past one week. अभी जो खाली किए हैं कम से कम 30-35 घर जो अभी तुरंत खाली कर दिए गए हैं अभी आपके सामने हैं लोग सामान लेके जा रहे हैं और जो कल ध्वस्त हुए हैं एकदम वो कम से कम छः मकान वो एकदम गिर गए हाउस के आने के साथ साथ जो ऊपर के कुछ मकान थे लगभग 30 फैमिलीज के आसपास वो जो डेंजर में थे तो उनको हमने इमीजिएटली खाली कराया है प्रिकॉशनरी और जो एक कम्युनिटी हॉल है एमसी का यहाँ पे उन पर वहाँ पे इनका रहने का प्रबंध किया गया है तो वहाँ पे प्रॉपर इनको जो सुविधाएं दी जा रही हैं जिसमें जो खाने पीने का भी इनका प्रबंध किया गया है तो हम कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि जल्दी से जल्दी इनको जो है कहीं और भी हम अच्छे उसमें विस्थापित करें लेकिन अभी टेम्परेरी हमने कम्युनिटी हॉल में इनको शिफ्ट किया है and at least 71 people have been killed so far in recent days varies nearly 2500 have been displaced in himachal pradesh as torrential rains have caused hillsides in collapse burying homes and triggering flash floods across the region environmentalists warn climate change and indiscriminate construction in india's fragile regions could lead to more disasters well, India's Western Gujarat states is hosting the G20 Health Ministers Meeting in Gandhinagar City. The three-day event includes an impressive lineup of dignitaries, health experts and policy makers from around the world. Speaking during the opening ceremony of the WHO Global Summit on Traditional Medicine, a side event of the G20 meeting, the World Health Organization chief acknowledged India's strides in expanding health services and spotlighted the roots of many current drugs in traditional practices. India's Health Minister Mansuk Mandavya in his address emphasized the pivotal role of the summit in merging ancient practices and contemporary science to achieve health-focused sustainable development goals. Besides the G20 deputies meeting on Thursday, there will be four events on the sidelines of the G20 Health Minister's meeting that will begin on Friday. The key here is uh, both the establishment of the traditional medicine center, the WHO Global Center is going very well. And also we have the first summit of traditional medicine. So things are going as per what we have agreed. So it's not only talks, but there is a lot of action going on. And moving on, situation remains tense in Pakistan's Faisalabad district a day after several churches and Christian settlements were vandalized and torched over allegations of blasphemy. A report. Scores of paramilitary troops and police personnel patrolled Pakistan's Faisalabad district on Thursday, a day after a Muslim mob vandalized and torched several Christian settlements and churches over allegations of desecration of Quran and blasphemy. Eyewitnesses said during the attacks, which continued for around 10 hours, Muslim clerics led mobs equipped with iron rods, stick, knives and daggers, demanding authorities to hand over the alleged culprits to them. Christian community leaders have alleged police personnel present at the scene did not intervene. However, security officials have denied the accusation, have said the situation could have been worse. Reports suggest that more than 100 people have been arrested for involvement in the attacks. Punjab 
ਦੂਜਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਗੁੱਸਾ ਕੇ ਰਸੂਲ ਆ ਉਹਦੀ ਸਾਈਡ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਦੀਆਂ ਧੋਨਾ ਲਾਉਂਦੇ ਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਕੁੱਟਣ ਦੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਕੁੱਟਣ ਦੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਘੁੰਮਣ ਦੇ ਕੇ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਕਰਦੇ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਤਜਾਜ ਕਰਨਾ ਪੂਰਾ ਮਨ ਇਤਜਾਜ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਤਜਾਜ ਦਾ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਪਿਆ Meanwhile the US has called on Pakistan for calm and to conduct a full scale probe into the blasphemy allegations. Right group Amnesty International has asked Islamabad to ensure protection for the Christian community and a repeal of the blasphemy law. Blasphemy is punishable by death in Pakistan and has led to lynching of people accused of hurting religious sentiments by outraged crowds. Rights groups say accusation of blasphemy are often used to settle scores against minorities including Christians, Hindus and Sikhs. A prominent member of the Baloch National Movement, Hakim Baloch, has termed Balochistan a war zone and said the indigenous people are actively resisting their occupiers, Pakistan and China. The statement came in the aftermath of the attack by Baloch separatists on a convoy of Pakistan military which was escorting Chinese nationals in Balochistan. The activist said the Baloch people are fed up of growing footprints of China in their region since the construction of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. which has only brought death and destruction for them he highlighted the baloch people have been targets of so called military operations ethnic stereotyping and abductions by the pakistani state while it exploits their natural resources along with china china is not building anything at all they are just looting plundering and making the life of the mis- already miserable even more miserable and they're forcing them to either commit suicide either leave their homeland either uh, or fight against it or resist against it the reality is balochistan is a war zone there is a war going on the baloch armed organization are struggling for the freedom of balochistan they are struggling they are the only force in the region that has actually stood up against china And Taliban's Minister of Justice Abdul Hakim Shari has announced a ban on the activities of all political parties in Afghanistan citing that such activities are against the Islamic law Sharia. Kama Press has reported this comes a day after the Taliban marked its second anniversary of returning to power. Shari said political parties do not serve national interest and it is clear that the current destruction of Afghanistan is facing due to these parties only. Following the Taliban's return to power in 2021, many political leaders left the country and operated beyond Afghanistan's borders, primarily in opposition to the Taliban administration. The Taliban has continued to adopt strict interpretations of Sharia to rule Afghanistan, restricting freedom of association, assembly, and expression to stifle any criticism. Well, Nepal's Central Investigation Bureau on Wednesday arrested four Chinese nationals for their involvement in the recent gold smuggling case. According to police statement, the four foreign nationals, including a woman, were apprehended from various locations of Kathmandu in an overnight operation. The smuggled gold, which had arrived from Hong Kong, was confiscated by authorities on July 18th. The Nepal Rashtra Bank has determined the gold weight to be around 61 kilograms, making it one of the biggest gold smuggling case in Nepal. So far 21 people have been arrested for involvement however the mastermind still remains untraceable. And thousands of Hindu devotees gathered in India's holy town of Rameshwaram to perform the solemn rituals of Adi Amavasya also known as Pitru Karma Puja on Wednesday to bring peace to their departed ancestors. The activities commenced with a purifying dip at the Agni Teertham followed by prayers and sacred offerings devotees believe the soul can escape the painful cycle of birth death and rebirth if these rituals are performed aadi amma sonala niki romba crowd a irukinga kootam saami onnu kunda romba konja kootam matta irukke na energy ella saami onnu well that's all in tonight's edition we'll see you same time tomorrow good night Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India breaking news and views from India